Well, today we're going to start with a turn drill. Now, I don't think we've ever done this type of drill in this last turn with the codes that we're going to be using. So even if you're a turning rider, this is going to be harder than ever. Because the last two groups, man, alive, they crashed. I saw crashes from some good riders, too. And they weren't focused. They weren't paying attention. They thought it was like something like before, but it's not quite the same. But I don't make things too hard that our newer riders can't do it. Everything is progressive. Everything steps up. You are ready for this, I promise you. Then we're going to get on that second straightaway, talk about some new lanes, lines that we can take. Because of our rebuild, jumps have kind of shifted. They've changed. So let's keep you smoother on the track to go faster, be safer, feel comfortable. Then we're going to step into our racing. We good? You like that? Yeah. This is the tightest turn on the track. And I love, I love making sure that we hit like every area of the track with drills that are, that are familiar, um, still hard, not hard enough though for some, not too hard for some either. We got this drill, tightest turn, and then we got these cones, delineated, and, and it might be on purpose that they are as tall as maybe some of the other riders that, that race with you, like their elbows. We control our bike, not the other way around. But you wouldn't think that actually, because the other two groups, I saw riders, it was like, they were like deer in the headlight. They were like, where's this bike gonna take me? And they literally got taken straight into cones sometimes. And I said, well, how the heck did that happen? Right, you can see the cone, you can steer the bike, so get the heck out of the way of the cone. Because all of these drills that we do, they're progressive. Let's make them harder and harder and harder. And let's let's practice the things that we that we come across in a race, but but not have them be so dangerous. Because if I just sent you out on the first day and say, said go race and, and race as hard as you can, um, you're gonna be put into situations that you're gonna be scared of, that you're gonna back away from, and, and it's natural. I want you each step of the way, each week, each year, to get more confident with what you do on the track. And being around other riders is so scary. So let's just take it back a notch and let's just be around cones. Because these cones, they're nothing. Right, if you hit them, if you bump them, they knock over. You don't need to fall over. You don't need to be dramatic and be like, oh my gosh, that was just so crazy. No, it's just a cone. So, so you are, you are gonna ride down the rhythm section, continue to practice the pumping, the pedaling that we've worked on. You're gonna try to get around these cones as quickly as possible. Okay, you're still pedaling, but you have the opportunity to pick your own lane. There's almost an infinite amount of possibilities of lanes to take. So show me how your imagination works. Show me that you can go low and then high, and then middle ways and then cut through and then jam. Show me how many creative lines you can take because each race is different, right? You're gonna be in a different situation, a different setup, just like these cones. And don't think for a second that you're gonna outsmart us and be like, okay, I'm gonna take the same lane every single time. No, people are gonna hit the cones, they're gonna fall over. We're gonna have to put them back up. We're gonna put them back in different places. So it's never really the same. Because you get in a habit of just doing the easy way, the way that you feel comfortable, the thing that you feel confident with. And I want you to take different lines. I want you to show yourself that you control the bike and you can get around these cones just like you can get around other racers, just like you can uh, maneuver away from a crash if something happens right in front of you. All right, coaches, show us. Hold on, hold on. Get above the white line. Yeah, watch those feet. Move your feet. You better watch your feet. You don't want them to get ran right over. Okay, stop. So, so we're gonna send you. We're gonna send you one at a time. But it doesn't always mean that you're gonna be in this turn alone. Sometimes some people might catch up to you. So you might be in this turn having to deal with yourself, the turn, the cones, and other riders. 
There are 16 cones here, I think. You're never gonna have more than eight riders on the track with you. If you can handle this small turn with eight and 16 cones, then this turn is gonna be a piece of cake if you ever have eight riders in this turn. Okay? You notice how they hit the cone, it got knocked down, no big deal. We come through this turn, finish the lap, pedal to the finish line, you might as well, you gotta go across it. Go through the infield, get up and around that second turn like we've done before. We're gonna start from the entrance of the second turn, go through the rhythm section, go through here. The faster you go, the harder it's gonna be. So the first like two times, chill out, slow down. Figure things, figure things out, know what you're capable of, then pick the speed up, because the faster you go, the quicker the cones are gonna come at you. That's why it's good. I don't care if it's your first time doing this or your fifth time doing this. It's always something a little bit different. Able, you are able to make it as hard as you want. You understand? We're good? Okay, if you got a question, stay here. If not, go grab your bikes, get on top of that second turn. to pass people, to get around people. And so that's what we're actually gonna practice. We're gonna practice going on the edge of the track. The white line, essentially you're gonna ride on the white line all the way down this straightaway. But it's kind of scary because you think like, ooh, one little bobble and I might, I might go off the track. And you're absolutely right. But you gotta remember you control your bike. So if you can learn how to, how to balance and how to get that confidence to go as fast as you can, working the pedals and the pumping, down this straightaway, riding on the edge of the track, well, you're gonna have a skill that a lot of people don't have. And that means you're gonna make passes because if everybody was in the middle of the track, it would be hard to pass them because you can't pass somebody that you're following. Also, if you're in the middle of the track, you're gonna be met with a pretty steep lip right here. We wanna be in the smoother areas. So you have two choices. You can be on this side of the track or that side of the track, but nobody goes in the middle. So you're going to be starting on the first straightaway. You're going to come around this first turn, go down this second straightaway on this side or this side, trying to go as fast as you can. You're going to go around that second turn. You're going to exit the second turn, go across the infield, back up the starting hill, roll down, meet up over there, and you're going to keep going again and again and again. And you're going to try to practice each side of the track. But I just said you can't pass somebody if you're following them. And we already learned that you gotta keep your eyes open. You gotta look ahead at what's to come. Just like we did with the cones. 
So when you come around that first turn, I need your head to be up and I need you to look at who's coming down the straightaway because if there's somebody over here that's slower than you and you know they're slower than you, you should go on that side because if you follow them, you're gonna have to stop because there's no switching sides. You've gotta own your decision. You gotta be good decision makers. And it may not always work out. Maybe, maybe there's a slower person and a slower person. So you gotta decide, oh, what is the fastest way I can get from point A to point B? But for the most part, it's pretty easy and it's doable. Coming around that first turn, keeping your eyes open, looking up and being like, okay, I got two lanes to choose. And even though you wanna switch it every now and then, you may be forced to take the same lane each time because that's just the one that's gonna give you the, the, the quickest way from the first turn to that second turn. Do you understand? Yeah. All right, let's watch the coaches again. If you're on the side of the track, you're gonna get run over. Watch them. Move back. I would watch out. Move away. There is no middle of the track. There's inside or there's outside. Go to that second turn, come across the in infield, go back to the starting hill. Let's go on in the infield right here. No sides of the jumps. 